Wait, uh, ask my question. Oh, I'm sorry, Senator Hunter. <laughs> she's so quiet over there being kind to me. Uh, please feel free. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Senator Haynes, I think there was a question earlier asking uh, whether or not there was a medical doctor that was in, in the audience. I, I think that the Department of Public Health is registered as an opponent, and Dr. Arnold over that department is a medical doctor. Oh. Is someone here from public health? Denise Gaines here. My, she, she's in the hallway. Can someone step outside and get her? Oh. Dora, can we get uh, Denise Gaines upon the public health? She should be standing right outside the hallway. Or? she's coming in, uh, Senator Haynes, I'm also concerned about the oversight of this matter. I was looking through the analysis and it, in terms of the background, it indicates that in 1978 that this General Assembly did pass uh, and there's a public law on the books already. Do you think that, that your bill would fit into this bill? It states that uh, the General Assembly enacted House Bill 2625, Public Law 801426, which empowered the Dangerous Drug Commission with the, uh, which is now DASA with the written approval of the Department of Law Enforcement, currently the uh, state police, to authorize possession, production, manufacture, and delivery of substances containing cannabis uh, when such authorization is requested by a physician licensed to practice medicine in all branches, and such physician has certified that this substance is necessary for the treatment of glaucoma, and to the side effects of chemo chemotherapy in case, pan case cancer patients or such other procedure certified to be medically necessary. And then it states that to date, this law has been rarely used. Yes, ma'am. So can't you all use this law as opposed to passing another one? And no. if so, why not? That's a, a good question. That we, Actually, uh, law enforcement raised that too. But the department doesn't, this, this, this was authorized by, I think, a Democratic House and a Republican Senate. They voted for a cannabis. It was in the nature of an effort to research the, the item. But un, unfortunately, the Department of Human Services. Well, it actually goes a bit further than that because it talks about um, the use of it with the written. Um, Request. But they don't, the department will not authorize, they have a letter here by the director, Taylor, and they will not authorize any such regulation. Senator, I, I have a, I, I'm real serious about oversight. I don't really understand how, what the, such a, a bill, if we were to pass it, can be enforced. You know, I, I, I hear the fact that, I'm not seeing if I can get to them. I hear the fact that, um, you know, that a physician um, is, is writing a prescription for a patient. But how do I mean, it's easy, a, a, a patient could very easily pass the marijuana plan or or the marijuana to a friend, a relative, a neighbor. How do you enforce that? The, if they step outside of the authorization, they can... You talked about penalties, but how do we enforce it, Senator? I understand what well, you all are trying to do. You know, I've been, I, I'm a certified alcohol and drug counselor. I've been for the past 28 years, you know. You mean, and, I mean if, they, if, they use mar if they use marijuana, and if there's a patient who has cancer, yes. they have a written uh, prescription from a physician to obtain the marijuana. How is it enforced? What, what? They, they obtain a, approval from the Department of Public Health under this proposed law. And the Department of Public Health will authorize it under the conditions set forth by this um, Committee, which will adopt the rules. They can I'm sorry, I need to interject and add Senator Schoenberg to the role, please continue. That's administrative. I'm How do you enforce it, Senator? 
Let's okay. Let's do some role playing here. Oh, okay. What if I'm a physician, you're a patient, okay, and 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 you're uh, undergoing uh, chemo, and the doctor feels as though the marijuana can help you with your treatment in terms of pain. I write you a prescription. You go to the pharmacy or wherever and purchase the marijuana. What prevents you from passing the drugs on to this gentleman sitting next to you? If you do, you will lose the privilege, yeah. and you will be fine. That just like if someone possessing drugs now. But the person has to get caught first. Well, of course, absolutely. So how they, do you, who's going to catch him? No, no. I mean, you know, every the, the department is if they're registering as an opponent. Where's the man? Where does the manpower come from? We're we're facing a, a huge budget deficit. So where does the manpower come to enforce? It would be it would be self-enforcing, Senator, by the local police. Self-enforcement of marijuana. Well, no. If the person obtains this amount, if, if or, or, or if they if they sell this or give it to someone else, they may get away with it for a period of time, but it's like they're doing now. But if they if they do 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 so. They're threatened with prosecution, and they lose the the uh, privilege. I don't think someone who is well, no, it, no, it, it is. It, it, it is like it, uh, excuse me. I don't want this to become argumentative, uh, Senator Hunter. Uh, are we finished here? And we can have that sidebar later. I understand Senator Hunter's concerns, and Counselor, um, we we're not going as far as we can here. Senator Severson, yep. I want to wrap it up for a vote. Yeah, just, just one quick thing. This is really no difference than if a person, a person, in the example that was just given, if a person has cancer, they're going to go to the pharmacy, they're going to get a prescription. There's nothing that's stopping that person from taking that drug and selling it to other people. That's right? true. Uh, and so and that's you know with the, marijuana, they're going to sell it even more. Well, these are people that are, most of them are terminally ill. They're not, this is not your gangbanger. This is your... This is a person that's terminally ill or yeah, the yeah, only all person that is sick. Yeah, to sell drugs. Not only gang bangers, you have business people, we have wealthy people, we have all kinds of... No, I, I, I understand. However, in a, in a particular population, Senator Hunter, I mean, in this particular category, um, uh, the, the, uh, Senator Hain has indicated how he will continue to tighten these measures up. It has a three-year sunset. And I believe that any of those uh, mishaps can be dealt with during, if at all it ends anyway. I, Senator Hunter, I would be happy to sit down with the proponents and, and see if we can further, but again, it's like, um, it's like anything else. The, uh, oh. the, these you know, Senator Hank, many, many physicians today and medical professions today, they administer medication um, inside the home. You have physicians that go inside the home to so administer rather than allowing an individual to carry or pick up the drugs from the prescription. Why can't this legislation uh, uh, um, um, reflect some of the, 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 the new methods of technology today by having uh, the physician send a licensed, registered person to the individual's home to administer um, the medication, which is the marijuana. I mean, I, I don't want any additional marijuana. If so we we'll can, set it up then and if, put, it in, put it in here. Then, then uh, Senator, that's a, I think that's an, a, an idea worth pursuing, but that could be a proposal from the board, which is going to set up rules. Well, and I was hoping that under the department. Pardon? Denise Gaines. Uh, very briefly, because then I want to go to a vote, and, uh, if you will. This is very important. I, don't think Senator 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 this matter. I totally agree with you, Senator Hunter, and we're going to hear from him because I, I have made the mention of, you know, there's registries that can be developed and under the Department of Public Health with rules. Uh, they, there can be definitely an act where, of course, you can add uh, a registry to have everybody there. But Ms. Gaines, if you will, step forward. And my good friend with the state trooper, uh, state police, if they could step aside one second. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, 